How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to show you how to turn off automatic unit cycling in Civilization 6. Now as many of you who probably found this video are aware, the a game does not allow you to turn off unit cycling in the options like you think it would so you actually have to dig into some of the more advanced files so what you need to do here is go and uh, navigate to your documents folder for your current user then go to my games and then find the Sid Meier's Civilization 6 folder in that folder there will be a file called useroptions.txt double click this file or right click it and choose to open it with notepad make sure that it is notepad and not wordpad as wordpad can mess up the formatting of these files once you have opened it up you get a screen something like the one here on the left side of this video press the Control f keys to search for a term and then just type in auto unit click find next and it should highlight the auto unit option right here you know, if you're not familiar with how uh, declaring comments works in a lot of I and I files like this is this first bit right here that is sort of the description of this option, and then the actual option here is the auto unit cycle. As you can see here, we have two options: zero equals no, and one equals yes. Uh, by default, this auto unit cycle option is set to one, which means that it will be enabled. But if you just press backspace and then you type in zero. And just get rid of the find dialog and then you click save and that should disable auto unit cycling in civilization 6 and uh, for those of you who are not aware why this is an issue i think now is as good a time as any to explain it if you're conducting especially a war in civilization 6 you will most likely uh, want to focus your efforts on those units right away right right when your turn starts especially if you're playing multiplayer so if auto unit cycles on what happens a lot of the time is you move one of your units and then the game automatically cycles to another unit that is not part of your military expeditionary force such as a builder somewhere in your empire it jumps over to that while you had just clicked on a second military unit that you wanted to move it deselects that unit and just moves to the unit it wanted to cycle to the next time and oftentimes that can lead to you accidentally moving units that you didn't mean to move and that is probably the biggest reason why i am turning unit cycling off because that is simply obnoxious i do like having automatic unit cycling when i'm just feeling lazy but if you're actually conducting any sort of serious war in Civilization VI, you're probably going to want to have it turned off. And unfortunately, until Firaxis actually patches the, this option into the in-game menu, you're going to have to go and, you know, go through the user options text file and edit that so you can t disable auto unit cycling. Uh, so I hope that was clear. Everything was pretty much uh, straightforward there. If you have any questions or if I failed to clarify something or if it's not working for you, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.